What's going on? It's Fist, bringing it to you like I do. And it's just an amazing time to be in gaming right now. It's, I, it's just amazing. Um, if you don't know, on Kickstarter, there's a new console that is starting up. It's called the uh, Oya. And it's an American-based console. I've been saying this for like the last two or three years. And I, I, I would have thought by now that Apple or Google would have like came out with their own console. You know, American competition in the North Americas would have been awesome. And I, I just thought, that, you know, that's where the social market is. That's where everybody's developing apps. You know, that's just where everything is just, it's like every day something is coming out and it's just, it's just wonderful. And it's a great time to be if you're like, you know, you're an entrepreneur and you want to get into developing your own game. And, uh, but there was only a couple consoles. I mean, really, to do it really cheap, there was, you know, uh, there's Xbox and the PS3. PS3 really, you know, they hardly support PSN. I, to be honest with you, I was really let down by this, you know, the, the support that you know, Sony puts on their PlayStation Network. So I really, you know, as a consumer in North America, I just, it was horrible for me. And I didn't, I just didn't like it. I haven't, my, my PS3 just sits there. It does nothing. And I just was like, okay, Xbox is like, you know, they cock block everybody with, you know, with AAA titles. And it's very hard to get into that market because, you know, it's people paying to be on your console first, and they pay Activision and Call of Duty. It's that type of shit that goes on that that really, you know, stunts the growth of creativity and games that are coming out really fast to catch on. So Oya, out of Los Angeles, is a new American company that kind of fits in between all of these consoles. And... I was looking for something like that out of one of the bigger, you know, uh, social companies that are out there. You know, with, you know, the way things are moving in the social sphere, sphere, uh, it just goes so fast that you would think that you know somebody would catch on to that, and they just kind of like miss the boat now. Now Oya has been out for what three days, and it already on Kickstarter collected three million dollars less than three days. Three million dollars. I mean, you literally you can get your name like for uh, founder in front of your name on the console for. An, I mean, it's awesome. It's a great idea, and you know, and people are like putting it down. They're just getting out the box. It's just awesome that an American company is taking the initiative to challenge the North America market that's owned by Xbox and Xbox Live. You know, if you have another company out there that is willing, I mean, it's that would be like, you know, PS, PSN and that care that was in America that cared about its North North American and the way we play and the way our philosophy, our Westernized philosophy, you know, how we care about online gaming versus you know they they don't really put much into it. That Oya is coming onto the market to do something like that. You know, that's really important to me as a consumer, and I really appreciate that. And it also, like, you know, it makes Xbox expand on what they're doing, you know, and to to make it seem like, you know, they care, but, you know, they don't unless they're being pushed into it. And that's what you have to do in a capitalistic type market. So I'm really happy for Oya. I'm looking forward to this console. I'm looking for and the most the, the most important thing to me is somebody uh, taking the initiative in America to start another console. That to me says so much, says so much to me, and I think that's why so many people uh, they want to see a console. To be honest with you, I'd like to see a console every three years come out with better hardware than software, you know, 
uh, or uh, you know, uh, every five years. That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry. So I'm looking forward to this. I think I think consoles need to move faster. Now I think that you know, uh, PS2 waiting ten years is too long, and I think Xbox now is waiting too long, five years. I think a console should come out every three years, comparative to the technology, and people will pay the price. You know, that's just the way I, I think it should be. You know, I mean, people pay sixty dollars for a game for Black Ops. And then they don't realize that their subscription is up as soon as the game comes out. So as soon as you buy the game, you have to buy Elite another $60. So right off the rip, you're paying $120. So how could you cry about a console that comes out every two years, every three years for $250 when you're paying $120 for a game every year? So anyways, that's how I feel about it. I'm really looking forward to uh, Oya. Uh, Oya. Oya. Oh yeah, or whatever, how you say it. I'm looking forward to, you know, all the developers that are going to come out of the woodwork. And then they are going to make their own version of great games that are already out there. And then changing it by one degree. And there's that many people that would love to play that game. That is wonderful. So anyways, I hope you uh, enjoy this video. You guys need to check out Oya. They're on Twitter. Play Oya is their name on Twitter. You can uh, also see them on uh, Kickstarter. I'll leave the link in, links in the description below. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm very excited. It's just it's a wonderful time. Anyways, your boy Fizz. Peace. I'm out.